and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147. Um, and I did have a potential video suggestion um, from one of the Zesties um, who said to showcase or show in one video um, all the paint gem minis that I have completed so far. So I've just pulled them off the shelf. I have 24 books. Well, actually, I have 25. I've just finished Summer, uh, but I haven't included that one because I've just shown that on a video last week. Um, and I still need to take my picture so that I can slot them all into my book. So I have my book here, but it's it's currently got nothing in it. I'm going to take the picture and then put them all in. Uh, but I have 24 other books of all the ones I've completed. Uh, and it's actually 25 sets because Around the World is both in one book. I think that's the only one that I've got a double in one book um so yeah i thought we'll just do a sort of quickish flip through uh, of all of the sets in case there's any that you are interested in there is still what feels like a gazillion sets that i have not yet done so these are just the done ones um so i'm going to start at the front and i think i'm just going to start stacking them back on the shelf as i'm done uh, but we start with a butterfly. Now, I keep them all in these A5 display books uh, that we have in our shop and we have a front cover and then they're all labelled. Some of these I have switched out some for some ABs. So you may be able to see on this butterfly one if the light's catching it. Uh, but the white, I've switched it out for AB. I've not done it on all sets and I've not done it on all of the images within sets but I have done it on some so if you see that extra AB sparkle that's why uh, so yeah so this is the butterfly set completed with ABs with added ABs on some so that one doesn't have any this one does it was quite I don't like to include it in every set I don't think every set suits ABs uh, but there are plenty that do and I've trimmed all my books down so these are books that have 20 pages but I've trimmed them all down to fit whatever set is in them cut out the pages I don't need and I do single-sided because that stops the book getting too full because that one is already pretty full I think that one has a 16 in butterfly so I'm going to start hopefully start popping them back up on the shelf but we'll see how it goes uh, then we have traditional foods I didn't add ABs in these I felt like food wasn't something that needed glitter showing or an AB showing uh, but they're all labeled with what they are actually thinking about it there is at least one set in here that doesn't have one of the paintings because it's in a frame um, but I can just get an A5 frame and just switch any out in various places I actually have a set of paint gem frames as well that I want to sort of pull out a few different ones so that's traditional foods in fact I'm just going to stack these to the side and move them over when I've got a few uh, then we have retro love this one back to the 80s some gorgeous bright colors in these ones so we have retro various different retro games and roller skates and computers and then I do have some that are this orientation. When I have some that are a mixed orientation, I tend to do it so that I can turn the book and then flip through all of them that are the other orientation rather than flipping the book back and to. Then we have Christmas. I definitely added some sparkle in Christmas. This is another quite full one. Um, you tend to find the diamonds, the amount of diamonds are roughly the same, 
but some sets have like 12, some have 16. Uh, I think the smallest sets they do have four. But yeah, this is Christmas. If I remember rightly, I didn't do this around Christmas time at all. Uh, there's definitely some that's been a while since I've flipped through them. Did them quite a while ago. So it's nice to sort of look through them again because there is also the odd ones I think, oh, that would be nice putting up in a certain area in my home. Look, I, have, I even have dust. Let's wipe that off. <laughs> uh, then we have Ocean. Did I put ABs in Ocean? I can't quite remember. Oh, I did. Not many though. So I didn't do it in a lot of Ocean. I didn't do it in the koi or the bull shark, but I did do some on the jellyfish uh, and some in the coral on the crab. So I didn't feel like, you know, some of the animals needed it, uh, but some of them could cope with that a little bit, especially in the likes of coral. I felt like it worked. I can't wait to, when I, ne when I finish my next sort of three sets that I'm currently working on, um, popping in some diamond dust drills in one after that. Oh, and I did put it in the clownfish though. <laughs> clownfish and a little bit in the Red Sea banner fish. So that is ocean. Let me move those up. I do have a little bookend to help. Uh, then we have National Parks. This is National Parks 1. <coughs> I've actually got National Parks 3 kitted up at the moment. It is one of my currently working on and I actually did a few of them the other day. A few of those paint gem minis but these are some absolutely gorgeous ones. These look beautiful framed. Just some really, really nice, considering how small they are, I feel like they are so detailed in what they show. So that is National Parks. Then we have Cocktails. This is also one that's been a while since I did this one. We've got just little remnants of dusty bits on the side. Uh, maybe I don't dust that top shelf as much as I should, but this is still one of my favourite sets. I absolutely love the colours in this set. It's one of the older ones, but sometimes the older ones are still the good ones. These actually came when I got them on quite a bigger piece of canvas. I'm not sure if it's still the same or whether you get a little bit canvas with them now. Now they've realised how how many different sets they're bringing out. House plants. This is an also one of the older ones. This is one where I definitely have one of these in my kitchen. So there is another one that goes in here, uh, but it's currently framed on a shelf in my kitchen because I loved the way it looked. We've got, oh, there is actually a house plants too as well, though I've not done that one yet. That is still in my to-do stash and that's the one, aloe. So I've popped the sticker in there for whenever it comes out of the frame and I switch it out because I actually put it in the frame before I put them in display books. Then we have birds. This one I have put a little bit of AB in some places as well, primarily in flowers or parts of the bird that I feel you can get away with that extra little bit of sparkle. So we've got birds. These are so fun to do though. Some of my favourite diamond paintings to do. Because I can do a couple if I feel like I want to do a bit more. The AB's gorgeous on the peacock as well. I'm not even sure if the camera's picking it up. But I've just done a little bit around the tips of the feathers on the peacock. Uh, a little bit on the blue tit. And then we have an owl and of course a parrot. 
parrot needed a little bit of extra sparkle. So that is birds. Let me pop those four up. Move my little bookend a little bit further up so it can help to not let them fall down. <laughs> then we have floral. And I did add some sparkle as well to floral. But yeah, there's some beautiful ones. There is also a floral too now as well. That is another one that I have not yet done. Maybe I'll pull out the ones that I'm still to do, though you can't see them as well in the pouches that I've got. But I'll give you a little rundown of what I've still got to do. We've got tulips, sunflowers with some extra bling, a daisy and lavender. Absolutely love the extra AB in lavender. Every now and then there's one where I put extra AB and it's like, oh, it's beautiful. Uh, then we have Black Magic. Uh, I don't think I have ABs in this one. So we've got the Black Magic set. I still have the Zodiac set to do, I think. They're ones I sort of linked together. I think they came out around the same time. I've just had two more arrive as well. So we've got Black Magic. Uh, I do have some in mystery and I will show you that one but I'm going to save that one for the end so that if anybody has not yet done it they can stop the video at that point. Uh, then we have her story. Now our images and our stickers are for her story one and her story two however there's only one available on the site now um, so I keep hoping that they'll bring one back so that I can get it. It's the only one I've not got. Uh, but I do have these four uh, and these are a lot bigger. So these do take quite a bit more, but I did put a little bit of ABs in those. And then doors. Oh, I actually put some AB and some diamond dust drills in doors. I only had a little bit left over from a kit. Uh, before they came a di became a diamond that we actually stuck. So I will show you where I've got little bits of diamond dust, but these doors are just gorgeous. So I have some of the diamond dust here um, in the windows and it looks so, so good. I say, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up or not. I did it in the top part of this window. I didn't do it in the bottom, just the top. I did have to watch, I didn't have that many of them. Uh, that one's just got ABs, as has that one, only a couple. Depends on what colours I had available. This one has the diamond dust in the window as well. It's that sort of darker blue. Then we just have ABs, just ABs. Again, I've got diamond dust in the window on the top. Uh, just ABs on that one, a few ABs on that one, and a few ABs on that one. So that's doors. We bob those four up. Let's see if my bookend will let me scoot it over. Because I do have pretty much a full bully, Billy bookshelf now. Uh, then we have Mandela. I this has a whole load of 310 in it, uh, but I really, really like doing these. I'm really looking forward to doing the windows and the tiles, which are in my to-do pile, because I loved doing the black outline and then filling in all the gaps with the colour. So I got that satisfactory sort of click, click, click as I was putting diamonds in around the black outlines uh, and I just, it's, it's like colouring in. It's like you do your black outlines and then you colour it in and it was great fun. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed doing these ones and the colours just pop even more because they're surrounded by black. I didn't put any ABs in this set, but I don't think they need it not with some of the colours in these at all. 
so that is mandala mandala uh, then we have safari this is a fun set as well I don't think I put ABs in this one um, unless no I've not put it in any eyes which means I've more than likely not put ABs in this because I kind of don't feel like animals need that extra sparkle some fish yes because of the scales but not as much the animals um, birds is, again sort of peacocks make me go yes gorillas make me go no uh, so I sort of go with what my gut says in relation to whether I add ABs or not but yeah oh, isn't he cute little koala then we have around the world and this is around the world one and around the world two uh, they'll both fit in a book nicely uh, they are bigger than some of the others they're bigger than the likes it's a bigger square than national parks which is why you get less per set and which is why I was able to put two sets into one Taj Mahal, Stonehenge, Around the World, uh, no, Around the World, Eiffel Tower, <laughs> Terraces of Lisbon, Colosseum, Statue of Liberty, Sydney, and Pyramid of Giza. Just the detail that's in some of these small ones is unreal. Right, National Parks 2 I have done. So I've done 1 and 2. 3 is currently in my in progress paint gem sets. And then I do have 4 as well. But I just, I put this one at the front because I just love that those tree trunks. I know it's really simple but I just think it's a beautiful image. And as you can see, these are smaller than the around the world images, which is why you get more in a set. Um, and because of that, I give each set its own book. But I love this way of storing them as well. And look at that one. That one would have been nice with ABs. I don't think I was adding ABs when I did this. I think this is one of the first sets that I did or one of the first batches of sets that I did. Right, let me get more, those four up. This is where I'm now going the other side of the book holder. Uh, then we have museum, and they've just fell down. <laughs> then we have museum. This again is one of the first I think we're getting uh, quite a few of these. A couple of them aren't, but a couple of these are some of the first sets that I did. Uh, back when I was able to keep up with how many sets they had and get them all done. <laughs> Whereas now I have quite a collection. Uh, Mona Lisa, I mean, look. Getting some of these images into diamond paintings and them still look so good is fantastic i mean they're not they haven't got something on the original but i mean look i've got that in lego as well um we've got starry night so that is museum uh space two these are in a set of four i have added a little bit of a b i think primarily in white on this one mainly for the likes of the stars but this is a square set so these are all what I call a full diamond painting because you do the whole lot including the background it's not in a particular shape apart from being in a square but like they're all square uh, first man footprint butterfly nebula that one's gorgeous Sputnik gotta love that name uh, Apollo 11 landing on Mars and the moon so that is space two and then space one I think Megan did this set um, so it's stored with mine but this is the set that Megan did just wipe off the uh, the signs of it being there for a good couple of years um, just on the first couple of pages where dust gets but yeah, 
absolutely beautiful sets for these. So much fun. And even though these don't fit in the paint gem frames the same way, I still think you could find a frame for these. Um, but yeah, still showcases them and looks beautiful. Then we have exotic fruits. I don't think I used ABs with these. I think it's more the food thing that made me think mm, maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Food and shiny stuff, not quite the same. Love that orange. Just, yeah, the detail that you can get in such a small image is amazing. So we have a pineapples, pomelo. So that's exotic fruits. Let me just get these. Oh. Lift up the ones that fell down. Oh, I do have another bookend. Awesome. I'll just scoop that bookend up to keep them together. Uh, so these are the last three before I get to mystery. But we have Love. I took this one to Australia with me, if I remember rightly. So there may be some parts of this that my niece had a go with me. I do remember the diamonds all came out of those little 28 container tubs. Letter V, cupcakes, envelopes. I didn't do ABs with these because I dare say I did take them with me to Australia. But that's the love section. Then we have doggies. Again, with the doggies, I didn't do ABs. Didn't quite see doggies sparkling in the same way. And these all look great even without ABs. I just think it's fun to sometimes use up ABs that you have from other sets. Um, you know you've got left over from other diamond paintings. I think it can be fun to just add a few in a few little ones. If I was going to add it in these, I would probably just add it in the eyes. Literally just some white ABs to give their eyes that little bit of sparkle. Maybe the bow, but I, I wouldn't have done it in a lot of these. So that's doggies. And then we have insects. Not everybody loves insects, but I still think these were fun to do. Um, just the detail and just how they come together and how you can have quite a bit of a different colouring with these. I don't think these would necessarily be ones that I could see myself displaying in a frame in my home in the same way, um, but they were still fun to do. Uh, I still enjoyed doing all of them, even if I don't have a place in mind to put one necessarily. And look, isn't the caterpillar just gorgeous? Maybe he should be at the front. Okay, so that is the books apart from mystery. Uh, I'll give you a quick rundown. Oh, so the camera needs something to focus on. Um, I'll give you a quick rundown of the ones I have in my stash. And then I will show mystery right at the end of the video. So I've just pulled these out of um, my little Ikea cart that I hold them in. Um, I do tend to put them in in alphabetical order, though I have just pulled them out in like handfuls, so I think they've got a little bit jumbled up, but I'll sort it out after the video. Um, but yeah, I store them in these pouches. I have the front and back of each one that comes on the box in here. Uh, and then I have the pouch that Paint Gem send the pictures in with the stickers for when it comes to kitting them up. So they all stay together in here. And then when I'm actually working on it, what I do is I still keep 
my cover, my back cover and things in there. And then I pop in my black card, which goes into my display box and my stickers. And as I finish one, I will pop them on my card with the name. So this is one from National Parks 3. Um, and then when it comes to de-kitting, I'll showcase them all. Uh, I have the book ready. It just has nothing in. Um, because what I found is I was putting them all into the book as I went along. And then I'd have to take them all out of the book to take the picture for my logbook. So I now keep them all in the pouch until they're completed. I then take the picture, put them into the book and put them up on the shelf. So the three that I have on the go at the moment, because I have three on a go at a time, is Mystery 3, National Parks 3 and Rainbow. I've added ABs to these two. I've only added two colours to these. I'm only thinking sunshine and stars, uh, but I've added quite a few ABs to Rainbow. And then I haven't added any to Mystery 3 because I don't quite know what the images are, which means I don't quite know what's going to look right with AB on or not. Um, but I have recently just done a few. I'm trying not to pull any mystery ones out, uh, but I have recently done a few of them that I need to put onto my black card. That's sort of a put away project. Um, but yeah, I would just do a quick rundown, very, very quick of which ones I have in my stash. Um, but feel free to look at the images of them on their website. Um, because the main thing for this was to show you the completed ones. Um, this is more just in case you're wondering what could come up in the future on my channel. When I finish the three that I have going, I will then be spinning a decision wheel to pick the next three that I do. Uh, so I have Tiles Edition, Tuscany Edition. That's a new one. That's really nice. Uh, Windows, Zodiac. That's an older one that the decision wheel hasn't chosen. Uh, Mushrooms edition. I am sadly very excited to do this one. I think these are cool. <laughs> uh, music edition. That's a very new one. Um, mystery edition. This is mystery number one. So mystery set number one I've not yet done. I think this one's mystery number two, and then I've got mystery three on the go. Uh, National Parks four. Tattoo edition, that's an older one I've not yet done. So's Cats, that's not been chosen either, that's an older one. Um, Easter edition, we've got the floral two edition that I mentioned. Geometric, that's gonna be another fun one I think. Gothic edition. That's an older edition. I mean, when I say older, they're not old, old. Um, and I think pretty much all of, I think all of these are still available on their website. Um, but it's just older than other ones I have in my stash. So we've got Gothic, uh, Houseplants 2. Really enjoyed doing the Houseplants 1. Uh, we've got Masks edition. It's a bit like tribal masks. 4th of July edition. That's one from this year this year I think. Um, autumn edition, I say I've just recently done summer, we've not yet seen a winter or a spring but we can always hope that that's in our future. Uh, bakery edition, beauty edition and birthstones edition. So they are the ones currently in my stash. I also have that just arrived the other day crafts edition and rainbow alphabet edition which i will be doing an unboxing on soon might be in a couple of weeks i try not to do too many unboxings in the same week on my channel so these will be coming up this one has got loads in it's got 32 might even have more no 32 different designs in this edition so it'd be fun to see how big they are so I also have those. So yes, I do have quite a few paint gems. In fact, I have them all apart from her story that they discontinued. That's the only one I don't have. 
um, but I love them and I'm more than happy to collect these uh, for me to complete for years because if for any reason they stop doing them I would want to know I have some to do. So yeah that's my current stash. So last but by no means least I will show you the mystery 2 edition. That's the only one that I've done so if you haven't done mystery 2 thank you for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Um, but if you're interested in seeing what Mystery 2 looks like, then here we go. Um, I have got a separate book for Mystery 3 because Mystery 3 has 16 images. Whereas Mystery itself, I think, uh, I think it may have 12, but Mystery 2... I don't know what that, a oh, blue tag. Uh, Mystery 2 only has four in it. Only has four images. A um, bit like her story, they're big. So I have left the first section of the book for Mystery 1. And this is Mystery 2. So Mystery 2 is basically just the four seasons. Um, so you have spring, summer autumn and winter so it's just the same house with all the different parts but the canvas itself comes I've just spotted a diamond that's popped up I'm just popping it back in click love that click um yeah so it comes as completely black and white uh, and it's quite a big image say compared to the others so numbers of diamonds wise it's actually very similar to the others I've just spotted another diamond that's raised up there we go it's in um so yeah that is my mystery two that I've completed and I will say mystery three so far um that I'm working on as one of my three to do is actually so much nicer than I thought it may be. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but there is some stunning ones in that one. So when I get those three finished, I will of course do a really big de-kitting on them, and then I will show you them when they're finished, as I do with all my other sets. Um, so yeah, that's a rundown of the... What did we say? I had 24 books out on the table at the beginning. Around the World 2 is two of them, so that's 25. And I finished Summer that I only showcased last week, which is why I've not dragged it in here because I still need to take that picture. So 26, and I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. 22 23 with the ones I've not yet opened and my three on the go makes 26 so I am halfway currently through I have 26 that need to be finished finished and 26 sets that I've done um, and say they keep coming out with new ones because these ones just arrived yesterday or the day before <coughs> um so yeah if any of them do spark your interest i do have a discount code and a link down below um so that you can go and check out some of them for yourself um you can also find the display books covers and stickers in our shop uh, which is also detailed down below um but yeah that was a nice little fun reminisce video of some of my older sets um, I'm going to go and pop these back onto my cart so that they are ready they're all in the decision wheel um, and yeah I think I might have to sit and do a couple more paint gems um, because I'm, I'm, I, I get as excited doing them as I do being able to de-kit them and kit up another three sets. Uh, it's quite sad, but I, I love it all. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.